Hi all, welcome to Andrea M. D'Souza's Kitchen. Today I am going to prepare for you one of my favorite Parsi dishes and also a Parsi delicacy that is Patrani Machi. I was introduced to Patrani Machi by my very dear friend Kezin ages ago when she first took me for lunch to Jimmy Boy's. And since then, Jimmy Boy's has been a favorite as well as Patrani Machi and the other Parsi dishes which I cannot stop eating. So here is Kezin's recipe just for you. I'll begin by taking 5 pom frits which I have cleaned well and I have washed. You can also use surmai, ravas or any other fish of your choice. To these pom frits I'm going to add around half to 3 fourth of a teaspoon of salt and I'm going to make sure that the salt reaches all parts of these fish that I have out here. And once I mix the salt well, I'll let it stay like this for an hour or so. Now in the mixer, I'm going to take around one large handful of coriander leaves. Even one and a half is okay. To that, I'll add four tablespoons of freshly grated coconut. You can also use desiccated but fresh is preferable and 20 cloves of garlic along with 1 inch of ginger which I have cut into small pieces. I will also add around 15 pudina leaves that is around 1 tablespoon and 10 peppercorns and 1 tablespoon of jeera or cumin seeds and some green chilies that is at least around 5 green chilies now if you don't want it too spicy then you can de-seed the chilies and also add lemon juice that is at least of 2 limes finally add some salt and a little bit of water and grind it don't add too much water initially because you want your paste to be thick like this you don't want a very thin paste now since my paste or chutney is ready I'll remove it in a bowl and I'll keep it aside. I'll then take a banana leaf and I'll wash it well and I will remove this stem part of it because otherwise it will not turn. Now make sure your leaf is wet otherwise it's going to break when you put your fish and try to fold it. If you have smaller pieces of fish you can use just one leaf but since my pomfret is bigger so I'm going to use two leaves so that it is covered well. Now I am going to cover each part of this pomfret with chutney that is inside as well as outside. Be generous with the chutney because you want a thick coating of it on your fish. Now since I have coated this with the thick coating of chutney, I am going to turn it on the other side and I am going to put a similar layer on the other side too. Once it is coated well, I am going to start folding it. Now suppose you think that your banana leaf is small and it is not folding properly, then you can add an extra piece just to cover it. There you go, it's done well now. Now you have to take a piece of string and tie it. Since I am using only one hand to cook and one hand with the camera, I am going to keep that camera aside and I am going to do this. There my second one is done too. Kezin had told me that the packages need to be neat but I don't think mine look too neat. I will now take my steamer and half fill it with water and let the water boil. This is nearly a century old this steamer, it belongs to my great grandmother and my grandmother after her. So it has been in the family for years and I love using it. Once the water boils, I'll put a few pieces of fish in the plate and I'm going to put it in the steamer and then I'm going to cover it and let it cook for around 20 minutes. See if you need 25 minutes, you can use it for 25 minutes too. And after some time, turn it around so that both sides of the fish get that heat. I think this is done so I am going to remove the plate and I am going to put the second batch in the steamer. See it's pouring outside. I love to watch the rain and hear the sound. 
and eating this hot fish on a rainy day is going to be extremely fantastic. I'll start opening my fish now. Here's what it looks like. It's a little hot so I have to be careful. Now you need to enjoy this fish hot and you can also eat it plain or with rotis if you wish. It tastes good either way. It looks yummy, doesn't it? I can't wait to dig in, but I still have to click the photographs and do these videos. So I need to wait for a while before I can enjoy this fish. But I do hope that you try it out and you enjoy it. And do give me your feedback through your phone calls, your SMSs. Send me photographs and let me know how much you enjoyed it. And don't forget to like my videos and subscribe to my YouTube channel. It will be a lot of encouragement from your part if you do.